something very exciting happened for one of my clients this month. Her name is Jill Conrath, and she's the author of two best-selling sales books, Snap Selling and Selling to Big Companies. And back in 2008, she started a, a LinkedIn group called Fresh Sales Strategies. And this month, we were able to get her membership numbers up to over 10,000. About a year ago, Jill and I were talking about the LinkedIn group and how to really increase it and get more activity involved from more salespeople uh, because her main goal was to really develop a community for salespeople to come together to share ideas about what works in today's selling environment. And at that time, she had about 2,500 members. And we, we talked and strategized about some ways to increase membership and activity. And there's two main strategies that we implemented to strengthen her LinkedIn group. The first is that we implemented some group rules. What we wanted to uh, prohibit is people coming in and just posting their blog articles, events, content offers, and minimizing the discussions. We really wanted to promote discussions. So what we said is the only things that should be posted in the discussion section are discussions. And then you can't post anything on your website, including articles or eBooks and things like that. Although that doesn't mean you can't ever promote anything on, on, in the group. But if you're answering a question or trying to help someone in the discussion, you can put your link to your content in that area, just not in the main discussion section. So what happens is that when you come into the group, then you actually have um, questions that people find valuable. So for example, here's a question from uh, Jean. Aside from finding more customers, what's one or two things you feel would really propel your business forward? So it's a question that people can answer. It's not just a promotion for a blog post. So one of the main ways that we wanted to get more recognition for the group is we needed to promote it more because we didn't feel like enough people knew about it. So what we decided to do is really start to leverage her newsletter. She does two newsletters a week, and so one or two, and so we um, decided to start posting a question from the group in the newsletter. And this is a great way to not only get more people to go to the group, but also to get more people interested in the newsletter because it's not just a bunch of promotional stuff. So now, as much as we can, we put a question from, the, from someone in the group and we have we also developed a nice little call to action picture here to get people to click on it to join and then if someone's interested in getting involved in this question they can go and share their ideas read what other people say and then if they're not a member then they, they can actually join so that this has significantly helped us uh, every month we get tons and tons of new people that want to join because of our promotion in the newsletter and then the other thing we do is we promote it on social media as well just a regular tweet or or a LinkedIn status update to ask people or to let them know about the group has been helpful as well so now Jill has a LinkedIn group that people really enjoy being a part of it's active there's a lot of discussions and conversations and she has now over 10,000 people in the group which we hope to continue growing at the same speed as we have been over the past year